Hi, this is Lisa with CrochetMore.com. Today we're going to be making our ripple dishcloth pattern. We're going to begin with a slip stitch on our hook. And the pattern for row one starts out with chain 40. So we've got to make 40 chains. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Now the pattern says to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So you don't count the loop that's on the hook. So there's one, two, so that's the second chain from the hook. You want to work a single crochet there. Then you need a single crochet in the next four chains. There's one, two, three, four. Now we need to work three single crochet in the next chain. So you're going to put three single crochet in this one chain and that's going to make your first peak ripple patterns have peaks and valleys the peaks are the highest point the valleys are the lowest points now we need to work a single crochet in the next five chains so there's one two three four Now we need to work our first valley, and the way you do that is you're going to single crochet three chains together. So you're going to insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over and pull up a loop. Do that again in the next two chains for a total of three. Now you're going to yarn over and draw through all four loops that are on the hook, and that's going to make your first valley. Now you need to work a single crochet in the next five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to work three single crochet in the next chain. And that's going to make the next peak. Now single crochet in the next five chains. There's one, two, three, four, five. Now on your instruction, there was an asterisk, and we're at the point where we need to make one more valley, and then we're going to repeat that part between the asterisks. So the next valley is to single crochet three together. So there's one, two, three, yarn over, pull through all. And the, the repeat between the asterisks part of row one, you're going to work a single crochet because you back up to the first asterisk and you start those instructions over. So you're going to single crochet in five stitches. Now you're going to make your last peak. You're going to put three single crochet in this same stitch. And then you're going to end with a single crochet in the next five chains. As you can see, the ripple has already started forming. So when you finish row one, you should have three peaks and two valleys. So that's the end of row one. And when you finish, you should have 39 single crochet and two single crochet three together. So to count these, you can just work along the top of your stitches. So there's two, 
4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. This one is one of the single crochet three together. So that's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. This is the other single crochet three together. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So you should have a total of 39 single crochet and the two single crochet three together on round or row one. To begin row two, you're going to chain one, turn the work over, and the first instruction, you're going to single crochet two together. So to do that, you insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and draw through all three loops that were on the hook. Now you need to work a single crochet in the next four stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and that's going to bring you to the center stitch of that first peak. Now you need to work three single crochet in that stitch, which is going to keep this peak in the correct shape. Then we need to work a single crochet in the next five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Now you're going to single crochet three together like we did before and you should be working into the single crochet three together on the previous row plus the each stitch on either side of it. So those are the ones you're going to decrease over. So you're going to insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now you're going to yarn over and draw through all four loops on the hook. So that's a single crochet three together. Now you need to work a single crochet in the next five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Now you're back to the center stitch on that next peak. You're going to work three single crochet. And in the pattern, this is what begins the next repeat because we're working on the, the instructions right now that are in the parentheses on row two. So you've got three singles in the, the peak of that section. Now we're going to work single crochet in the next five. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Now you're going to work a single crochet three together again. And you're working again in that valley on the main middle stitch and each stitch on either side of it. So you're going to insert and pull up a loop, insert, pull up a loop, insert, pull up a loop, and then yarn over through all four. Now you're going to work a single crochet in the next five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Now you're going to work three single crochet in the center stitch on this peak. One, two, three, and then you're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four, and for these last two stitches you're going to single crochet two together. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the last stitch, pull up a loop, and then insert, or yarn over, excuse me, and pull through all three of those loops. And that ends row two. And you can see how our dishcloth is starting to form. So for rows three until you finish, you're going to repeat row two by doing the one chain, turning over the work, and doing the exact same instruction for row two, just over and over and over until your dishcloth measures approximately nine inches 
from peak to valley and what I mean by that is from either either way from here to here or from here to here you're going to measure approximately nine inches when your dishcloth will be finished and then you just fasten off and weave in your tails and that's how you do our ripple dishcloth pattern